Hello Twin Flames, thank you for joining me today. This is your daily energy check-in. And this is going to be a classic read, so we're going to see what's happening with Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energy, the Connection Energy, and our blue semesters between the twins. I'm still staying in uh, my condo in Kona, Kailua Kona, Hawaii. Yes, today I decided to wear some of the natural decorations. I've got plumeria here, I've got coconut earrings here, and I've got kukui nut or candle nut uh, necklace and uh, a bracelet. Yeah, so trying to use the, the power of nature in different ways. <laughs> okay, so let me get started right away. Uh, first of all, it's going to be the oracle card, of course, and today I'm using the whispers of the ocean. So let's see what we have for Divine Feminines, first of all. Hope everyone is doing great. And you are excited for the upcoming weekend for whatever reason, <laughs> hopefully. I'm going to be relocating to uh, a more permanent residence, so yeah. I'm kind of excited, not that much about the place maybe, but more about uh, reconnecting with the people I like very, very, very much. <laughs> And they keep asking about me, it's funny, you know, I've left for like, been away from them for like three or four weeks now, uh, since I was doing my travels to other islands. And yeah, it's now that time like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? How are you? When are you coming back? So yeah, that's gonna be exciting. The highlight of my weekend, this weekend. <laughs> okay, number 40 for Divine Feminines, you discover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion you're feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. Passion and desire. Think about what is, what ignites your inspiration during this time. And it can be anything or anyone, right? Like I was just sharing just a second ago, uh, about reconnecting with the people I love, right? You can be, and you know, those things are exciting to me. Uh, the way they live, the way they support me and take care of me. So that can be an inspiration on its own, right? Like a relationship, right? It can be a place, it can be an activity. What is it for you these days? Um, try to get some some of that, uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the words for it it's like you know they say the creative juice is a flow and try to get the juice you know the source of the juice for yourself okay let's see what we have for the masculines so the masculines we have blend into the environment <laughs> that's an interesting one number 36 we've got the octopus here you have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So this is to say, do not freak out if things feel too unfamiliar or you feel like you are not getting it, you're not on track or whatever it is, right? You're not succeeding for some reason, right? This is for you to kind of analyze, to feel through it and to adjust accordingly because you can adjust to anything. So that's that point, to understand how to adapt. Okay, uh, let's get into tarot, and I'm going to be using the Dreamway Tarot for the energies of each of the twins, and we'll start with Divine Feminines, of course. I had a question once from someone, why do you start with DF? Because um, most of my viewers are Divine Feminines. And yes, I know that it's questionable whether they're more interested in finding out about themselves or their DMs, right? But in my opinion, it's still a lot more important to find out about yourself than about your DM, especially if you are not in a consistent communication or some sort of relationship, you know, where you talk a lot, right? And generally speaking, we are given those times of separation to focus on ourselves and not have to, first of all, not have to worry about DM. Second of all, not to impact their journey and for them not to impact ours. Because sometimes that could derail things. And it took me some time to get my head around it. How does it work? And why is this and that actually a blessing in disguise? 
Okay, so what do we have for Divine Feminine? Then I don't have my table because I basically I moved all the furniture away as much as I could so I can dance <laughs> and use the mirror wall. Um, so now, yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not moving my furniture back and forth all the time. So my table is in the corner and I'm doing this without a table. Okay, we got Ace of Pentacles and Five of Swords as clarification. Oof. So it's important not to rush into anything. That's what I'm getting immediately with whatever lucrative ideas you may receive or, you know, offers you may receive in terms of finances, in terms of um, multiplying your abundance in some form, right? So be careful what you're agreeing to. Uh, you know, they say that not everything is gold that glitters. That's what I'm getting here. And there could be some sort of a deceit here or like not necessarily consciously just that you need to read the fine print in this case right or you need to slip on it whatever applies to your situation right like be careful with the conditions not like the offer is bad but uh maybe some negotiation is needed so it's actually beneficial for you in the end because if you are over trusting and you're just gonna say yes 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 to everything you know you may regret it in the future interesting and actually, it was the oracle card that we had for you, Divine Feminine, so it's the rediscovering that passion, drive, and inspiration, that will help a lot. Because if you ignite that, that will be your compass, your, like, your tell, you know, whether this is something to pursue or not, or which way you want to tweak it into. What do we have for Divine Masculines? King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, and I like that their uh, clothing is actually very similar, pretty much the same. Like they, to me, this is the idea. This is the same person. So Divine Masculine is actually contemplating uh, their wealth, abundance, um, and success, as in like individual versus uh, providing for like the family, for the tribe, for whatever, right? For wherever they consider people that de depend on them and it's like what does it really mean right what do, for like yeah there are several questions here so what are the needs for me individually versus our group that i'm providing for second of all what does success mean for me individually versus for when it comes to the group and what i can do for them how they see me all that stuff right so it's a very nuanced point here not because it's a very little difference, it can be a, a big difference. It's just that a lot of times people don't really separate the two. Because once a person has a family or people they depend on that they provide for, they tend to forget about like, okay, it's still good to be aware about what are my needs and how I'm meeting them, you know, how much I'm spending on myself, if you wish, you know, those kind of things. Or how much time I'm dedicating to what I need, to what I love doing to what I want versus the collective, right? Even if it's a smaller collective in this case, right? What do I do for, you know, at work, for example, or for my local community, for my friends and family, right? And how much do I spend there? How much time do I give to those people and activities, etc., etc. right? There is this analysis now, figuring out, and with the focus of what do I actually need? What do I want? That's the key aspect of this question. Understanding what do I need personally. Okay, now we'll see what is going on with the connection. We've got a little bit of sun coming out for the sunset as I'm recording this. So the connection energy I'll do is the light seer's tarot. What's the connection energy at this time? Knight of Wands, any clarifications? 
All right, another King of Pentacles. So both twins are actually preoccupied with connecting the passion and drive within with external success and looking like how can we marry the two, right? So that we are happy and content within ourselves, right? It's not about being happy or content about uh, supporting other people around or being on good terms with other people, right? For example, even if uh, either DM or DF are not supporting other people, but they may still be influenced by, say, their parents or friends, and like, okay, you have a good job, you know, good for you. If I switch to something that I'm passionate about, but it's not as well paid, it's going to be, ah, what are you doing? Right? It's, it's those kind of things. And um, this public recognition of success can mean very many different things. But this is now about the twins finding, and I'm hearing that a lot of the twins are actually inspired by each other. So it's funny, right, how it works. Because uh, even, for example, if deep down I'm um, looking at maybe some gaps or things that I still need to work on to kind of be closer to the passion rather than uh, external validation, right? That for my twin, I'm still looking like I'm riding my dream and I'm going for it and I'm following my passion. And the, the other way around as well, right? So the twins still inspire each other from that perspective a lot. Uh, but yeah, this is more about not like, okay, my twin is happy with what I'm doing and it's fine. Maybe you don't even know that, right? A lot of times we don't hear those things that your twin will be saying, oh, I'm so inspired by you, right? Uh, so you may not even know about it, but it's important to uh, keep focusing on what is important in your space, personally, individually, right? And the more advanced we become in that understanding and in aligning our life and what we do on a daily basis with that understanding, the closer we are to our own union within and to the union with the twin. Okay, last but not least, messages between the twins. And today I've got my Hermit Tarot cards. So let's see, what do the masculines have to say? One cup and I just wish things were different. So there is a lot of love, even if it's not expressed. And honestly, DMs is saying, I wish I could be there with you right now. I wish I could say I love you. I wish I could share my passion and emotions and what I'm excited about these days, right? So there is that the love that it lives on. It's there, right? There is a recognition of that. It's just that due to filling the gaps, whatever circumstances in life, right? I'm not able to come forward, but I wish I could. That's the sentiment. Okay, what about Divine Feminines? What do they have to say to the Masculines? I need more balance and I'm open to compromise. Both the twos. <sighs> yeah, so Divine Feminine is really kind of on the verge of also discovering something important about themselves, what they need and what to focus on. Right, and there is this internal uh, search right now going on. Uh, so it's important to keep going, you know, to focus on that and to find that balance really, to understand what is uh, a healthy compromise that is not going to make you compromise on your dreams and wishes and goals, right? So that's like, um, that's like that thin line, right, where we find that um the truth in the middle beautiful okay i think i'm gonna leave it here it's a bit shorter reading today but i'm happy how it turned out thank you so much for joining me guys if you like the video please don't forget to click the like button to subscribe to my channel to leave a comment to share it on your socials love you all and i'll be back with more readings very very soon